here. I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today I have an exciting video for you if you love home decor, because I felt like spring is in the air, and I thought it was a great time to spruce up the kitchen table, or dining room table, or even your coffee table. I like to put a little centerpiece on that as well. So instead of doing just a simple table runner, which is fine by all means, I like the idea of creating a nice centerpiece. So basically even using something as simple as a tray and adding some nice touches to it to create a beautiful centerpiece like that. I wanted to keep the color palette very neutral because I wanted this to appeal to everyone. I'm not quite sure if you have pops of color everywhere or if you're very simple and you like more whites. I decided to keep a very neutral palette, that way it can give you a good idea on what could look good in your home as well. So I will be showing you three different table centerpieces that you can place on display and it will make your area just come to life and look so much prettier. Three different looks that are very easy to achieve, they're also a little bit cost effective as well. So if you're on a budget, these will also be great. So let's get started, here is the first centerpiece for our tabletop. For this centerpiece, I decided to use a wooden tray, but it's not just any wooden color. It is actually this mint green that is brushed a bit to give it that vintage look. I love this mint green color. I think it looks so pretty. And what I decided to do to give it that wow factor was this beautiful plant. This is actually real. You can easily put a full plant in place of this, but these are actually very easy to take care of. And this plant was just really pretty with the greens and the whites. So we put in this pretty vase and this has the nice white. It's very nice and it fits this plant perfectly and it complements it in terms of the coloration as well because we pulled some whites from the plant in with this vase. To play up on the green theme with the actual tree, I decided to keep the plant and earthy theme alive. So we have some succulents here. These, of course, me and my sister, we like to make them ourselves. So you can, of course, take any little mini vase or container. This container actually had a lid on it. We removed the lid and we planted this pretty succulent inside. And to give it some height, of course, I added some books. I think vintage books are a really nice touch. So these vintage books, they also had that earthy, beige-ish color, so I thought that would look really pretty as the color palette on here. This one was tall enough. I like to play with sort of heights and things like that. So this is just in a clear glass display. And to make it look that much more exciting, I decided to pop in a few of these vintage bottles. Now my dad is really great because he loves to go to content sales. He even has these around the house as sort of family heirlooms. So we love these vintage bottles. These are so pretty. You can of course get them from any thrift store that you would like. I think that it is such a nice touch and it is very unique to have a piece that is not necessarily from the store that anyone can buy, but a couple of these old bottles that are so cute. I'm sure they all have a lovely story behind them as well. My dad could probably tell you a couple of stories about those. And I like the idea that we're playing with heights here, so we have something very tall, and then we have these shorter plants, but everything sort of comes together and sort of keeps a certain theme alive. So this one would sort of be an earthy plant theme. You can, of course, replace any succulents with fake succulents as well. I know that HomeSense does have some nice ones. I mean, even the dollar store actually has some fake plants that look pretty cool. So you can mix and match pieces. I like incorporating modern with older pieces and it gives it that very nice touch. So this is a beautiful table centerpiece and it actually provokes conversation. So I love this centerpiece. This centerpiece is actually on the base of what would be a wall mirror. We picked up this mirror at HomeSense, I believe as well, Home Goods for You Americans, and I thought it would look so cool as a base for a centerpiece. So instead of hanging a mirror on a wall, if you find a really cool mirror, that actually makes the great basis for a lovely centerpiece. And we picked up a lot of these pieces actually at HomeSense, and I think that this is really great because they are so affordable. This one I actually noticed that we still have the price tag on. This was $7.99 Canadian, and I think that's a great deal for this really cool, I guess it's almost like a vase or jar type thing. It's a marble look and I love marble so I like to incorporate that for the centerpiece. We also have this really pretty candle holder and inside we just popped a beautiful white candle on the inside and I actually like this because we occasionally can light this as well 
to just give that extra ambiance and nice feel, especially if you're entertaining. Instead of doing real succulents, they do require a very minimal care, but if you're the kind of person that tends to kill plants very easily, you can get some really great imitations that almost look real. So this, of course, actually came as just one piece altogether, the little vase and the fake plant. So we just pop that in on here. And of course, I love this. This, I believe, is like a paperweight or even a bookend, but I love this little elephant. Elephants are such a beautiful animal. I love them so much. And I thought this looked really cool. It gave it that nice touch. And of course, all these colors are, again, very neutral and simple, so these will look great with a lot of color palettes. So this centerpiece was super easy to set up. You literally just have to pop on a couple things. The heights of these pieces are all very similar. You won't be seeing a super tall one or a super short one. They're all sort of a similar height range, so it's good if it is for a dining table and you're dining around, and it's super easy to do. I just literally popped on a couple things and it came out pretty nice, as you can see. So this is another centerpiece that I love, and I really do like the fact that you can repurpose even an old mirror, and you can use that as a centerpiece as well. So this tray was supposed to be for drinks, but I decided it would actually look like a very pretty centerpiece base. Again, it is a mirror, but it has these lovely gold accents all around it, and I decided to keep the theme very neutral, but also on the white theme. This to me looks very feminine and dainty. It would almost look pretty even if you had a bathroom, like a large bathroom, and you didn't know what to put near maybe your sinks. You can have a pretty centerpiece as well. That's what I love about these centerpieces is they're very versatile. So wherever you see fit, you can put one and it just makes your space come to life. So what I did here was on top of this, like I said, this was a tray. I decided to use these fake flowers right here. Not everyone has real flowers all the time. Of course, if you are gifted real flowers, you can swap those out <laughs> for these instead. But I like to use fake flowers because they look pretty all year round. And of course, flowers are very spring-like. I did receive flowers recently and what I like to do is after the flowers die, you can still use the baby's breath, they last for a very long time. So I put those in again a little vintage jar. This was actually an old milk jar, <laughs> so I think that looks so pretty. I love to use old vintage bottles and jars as a vase for flowers, I think that is such a nice touch. So these baby's breath are really pretty and delicate. I also had this handle, this is from Indigo. I believe so chapters or indigo it is just a bookstore that we have here in Canada and this smells so good it is this lovely candle right here I really love the jar that this candle comes in I thought it looked so nice it almost has that pearl color so again working with that white theme that we seem to have going on and as well I have this coral this is a piece of coral that my dad had I'd have to ask him the story about this because I don't remember but I think this is such a cool and unique piece and it just really makes this centerpiece come to life and it's so different I mean you never really see this on a centerpiece and I just thought it looked lovely I mean of course these centerpieces might look a little different on um, depending on how you turn them I love the idea of sticking with a color theme even and just working with different shades of that so this is almost more creamy whites I mean faux flowers or real flowers candle holders anything you have that is sort of a similar color theme you can play around with it and see what works nice as a centerpiece so I played with some earthy tones I also used plants as an inspiration and in this case I decided to use the color as the inspiration on playing with different themes of white so there you have it this was a centerpiece that was so easy to come together and i hope you guys really enjoyed so this was my final centerpiece as you guys can see these were so easy to do it takes just a bit of creativity a lot of things you can actually pick up from thrift stores as well so you can be very budget friendly Home Sense or Home Goods for you Americans is also very affordable. They have some really unique stuff and I like the idea of mixing some old things like old vintage bottles with some newer things as well, using real plants, fake plants. It's honestly all up to you. Either way, it creates a beautiful centerpiece. And of course, I love neutral colors. It will go good with almost any space. So I really hope that you did appreciate the fact that I tried to keep it neutral and simple so that it can appeal to a lot of you guys as well. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. This was a lot of fun to film. I actually do have some more ideas on home decor as well. If you'd like to see those, please leave me a comment down below or give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Every new subscriber means so much to me. It really does make me so happy and keeps me motivated to making a lot more videos. I hope you did enjoy these three different ideas on how you can achieve a really pretty centerpiece for your table. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! And happy decorating!